Welcome back to our uh, Let's Play Go Go Ow uh, Mini Barn uh, 2015 edition. That is just like brain processing, processing, too much noise. The game is loud, birds chirp. Seriously, if you were in the same room as me whenever this bird chirp, you'd be like, Jesus Christ, that's really high pitch. I mean, you can probably tell that just from how it picks up so easily on the recordings, but seriously. I'm in the room all the time with this bird, man. Well, not all the time, but most of the time. So he's just like, ow, ow, ow. Although the bird doesn't tend to chirp a lot unless I'm actually speaking, which is when I'm recording usually, so yeah. Well, before we actually uh, continue on with our journey into uh, Japan and all that, uh, I was, this is kind of like somewhat related to uh, LPs on this channel and somewhat not. If that makes any sense, which it probably doesn't because I tend to talk in a way that makes little sense and then eventually might make sense. So anyway, some of you maybe might be familiar with a game series called Corp Party. And if you are, I was recently watching PewDiePie playing the Book of, uh, was it Book of Shadows or something like that? And it was like, as I was watching that, because I remember I re originally was like, you know what? When I originally watched the Let's Play of it, I can't remember whose Let's Play it was, but I remember watching a Let's Play of the original, I was like, this game seems disturbing but interesting at the same time. Maybe I'll get to see him and LP it someday, and then eventually I was like, ah. Uh, Ooh, it's a bit too disturbing for my taste, honestly. And then that one kind of like, like that I mentioned that I recently watched is just like reminded me of that. And the reason I bring this up is because, uh, one, I might potentially actually LP those games. Who knows? I have no idea. I have no way of actually recording them when I actually get them or anything like that. But it also kind of like reminds me how I feel about the Higurashi series, which brings us on to this channel. And why I'll probably end up LP in Katawa Shoujo next instead of Higurashi. Because Higurashi gives up the same kind of, uh, what the fuck did I just read as Corpse Party, essentially. It's like the type of series where, once you're done with, like, reading through just one, like, chapter or whatever throughout it, all you can do is really just lie in bed, stare at the ceiling, blank-eyed, and just think, the fuck did I just read? So I thought I'd just share that, just like, because seriously, man, just like, I'd rather go with the whole field trip rather than the what the fuck did I just read trip, you know, so, yeah, so Katawa Shoujo will probably be the next LP after this one. So without further delay, let's actually proceed. Ah, uh, good morning, you're up, Billy. Yeah, I got up a little earlier, so I could think over where I wanted to go today. I actually did wake up early today, but then I went back to sleep because, uh, because, just because. I see, that's nice. Huh? It sounds like you're getting the most out of your days here in Japan. Yeah, of course, that's all thanks to you and Akira. <laughs> when, you, well, when you say it like that, it makes me, it makes this all feel worthwhile. Say, where is Akira? Oh, it's that day, is it? She must still be asleep. Oh, but if you wouldn't mind, could you try to wake her up? What? Me? Wake up Akira, but... It's nothing to worry about. I'm not telling you to go into her room. Just stand outside the door and call out to her until you get response. Uh... I see. It's Akira. I have no idea what might happen to me if I go into her room while she's asleep. Okay, I'll go wake her up. If you would. I wish I could just let her sleep, but she can't start the day until Akira wakes up. I'm surprised those birds aren't waking her up, although they're not nearly as high-pitched as mine. I'm pretty sure Akira's room is the first room on the second floor. That's it, the room with the open door. Hmm? Open door? What? Huh? How does this keep happening? Vert Makano, no, I catch a in a compromising situation. Stay cool. Stay cool. Uh, uh, 
Uh, um, uh, uh, Ohio? <laughs> you didn't come downstairs, so she sent me to wake you up. But, but, but I see you've already awake, so, uh, that's good. Uh, so anyway, I'll be waiting for you downstairs, uh, come down when you're ready. Phew, now she should know it was just a misunderstanding. Or not? Ah, I'm peeping Tom Pervert! I'm not, it's a misunderstanding, but it's asking me to come wake you up for that! Shut the hell up, you can't save yourself now! Did someone help! What the hell did she throw at him? Man, that, that bass there really kind of suited the atmosphere there, like, brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
The Kabuki Sai, that certainly is a very Japanese place. It's going to be you. The first trip with Makoto. Speaking of which, where is the uh, Kabuki Sai? Yep, it's going to be Makoto. You don't know, Acura? Well, I certainly don't. Well, I've never been to it before. Really? Even though you're Japanese? Most Japanese people never go to the Kabuki Sai. Really? I assumed it was the place all Japanese people would go. Michael, where do you think the Kabuki Zara is located? Kabuki Zara, uh, Echo. Kabuki, Kabuki. Oh, I know! I know, the Kabuki Zara is in Shinjuku, isn't it? Huh? Shinjuku, is it? I mean, uh, Kabu Kikito is in, uh, Shinjuku, right? Oh, that's right. Is that why it's called Kabu Kikito? But is the Kabu. Kabuki Zara really in Kabu Kikito? Or whatever? <laughs> it's not, sorry to inform you. Uh, it's not. How come? Kabu Kicho got its name because Shinjuku was in ruins after the war and they were trying to get the Kabukiza rebuilt there. Really? Then why didn't the Kabukiza move there? Those plans fell through, but they had already named the place and the name just stuck. Huh? So that's what happened. They built a coma theater on the intended site instead, then they demolished that, and there's a big shopping center there now. But even without the Kabuki Zara, the area is still flourished into Japanese, Japan's uh, biggest entertainment district. That's no small feat. So, Shinjuku is part of the history of Kabuki Zara? That's interesting. The Kabuki Zara is, uh, uh, is in Ginza, which had been destroyed during the air raids in World War II, ending up being rebuilt in its original location. The current Kabuki Zara, after a rebuild in 2013, is the. Uh, if the decoration of the building. The decoration? That building has got some history. Oh, you must be a pain in the ass to have to rebuild stuff, but they... It's really quite remarkable how they're able to do that. It's like, things get destroyed and yet they rebuild upon the rubble of the destruction of the original. So the closest station would be Ginza. You can get there from Ginza, but I think Higashi Ginza would be closest. Let me look it up. I knew it, it's connected directly to Higashi Ginza, but from here it might still be easy to go to Ginza and then walk. By the way, Oni-chan, have you seen Kabuki? Despite all my big talk, I never have. What? Really? I guess the Japanese really must think of Kabuki as something special. That's true, I'd like to go, but the cost makes it quite difficult. Oh shit, expenses, is it? Oh, the cost. Is Kabuki really expensive? People think of it that way, but I'm not actually sure. Wait a minute, I'll look it up. Book seats are... Whoa! In first class seats are 80... Thousand yen, it says... 20,000 yen?! <laughs> oh my god! It can't be done. Let's forget the idea. Wait, wait, don't give up just yet. Those are the most expensive seats. The cheaper seats are about 4,000 yen, it looks like. 4,000. That's a lot cheaper, but it still feels kind of expensive. And you see why we find it unapproachable? Definitely. It looks like it varies by performance, but those are the prices for the current performance. I thought this would be a good chance to see one, but 4,000 is a bit high. I don't pay that much for a full day pass or a theme park, but... Yeah, and I'm not sure I would be able to understand the way they speak Japanese. I'm not sure that I'll ever be able to understand it. Uh, I'm not sure I want to experiment and at that price. Oh, wait a minute. There are cheaper tickets. Huh? Really? Well, a single performance at Kabuki's Eye is split into several acts. They have tickets to see just one act. They're called single act seats. Single act seats? How much are they? It depends on which act you see, but for today's performance, they range from 800 yen to uh, about 600 yen. Hey, that's a lot cheaper! So the most expensive is about the same as a movie ticket. That's not bad, then. Would you like to take Aki-chan, then? Well, what do you think? Sure, I'll go. I've always wanted to see one of these. Great, and let's go! It's just like... It's like it tricks you. It's just like, oh, Mikado's going to be the one taking us in, and it's suddenly, Psych! Acker's coming with you instead! Well, how do we do it? The tickets, I mean, can we just go and buy them out of the blue? Single act seats can only be bought the day of the performance, so you would have to buy them today. 
I see, that actually makes it more convenient for people like me. The Kabuki Zai has almost all reserved tickets, so the shows often sell out quickly. Maybe they're for people who couldn't get tickets but want to try it out. Here's the timetable for today's performance. There are three acts during the day and three at night. And the price is different for each. Looks like it, though it looks like if we go now, we'll want to choose one of the three during the day, right? That sounds right. Time so wise, they have the titles written there, but I don't know which story is which. Not to brag, but now do I. <laughs> then let's just pick based on time. How about 1251? Sure, sounds good. It says tickets for that performance go on sale at 11.15. We leave now, we'll get there just in time. Why don't you spend your train ride learning a bit about Kabuki? Sure, I don't know anything about it. Yeah, okay, let's learn about it on the train. Or are we all going this one? Sure! Who knows? Here we go, I'll take about 40 minutes, so let's do some research. What do you want to know? I don't even know what I want to know. I just chose the place because the building looked interesting. <laughs> I don't know a damn thing about this place. I'm the same way. Okay, let's start with what Kabuki is. <laughs> uh, good idea. You know, it's a type of traditional Japanese theater, right? It's uniquely Japanese, and it's been designed, uh, it's been... It's made an important intangible asset. An important intangible asset. In other words, a valuable part of your history, right? That's right, the term Kabuki originates from the old word Kabuku, it says. Kabuku, Kabuki means slanted. Kabuku in this instance means something else. It's to act in bizarre ways or dress eccentrically. Dress eccentrically? Toward the end of the Warring States period and the beginning of the Edo period, people started dressing in flashy clothes and acting strangely. They were called Kabuki Mono. I think I've heard that before, Kabuki Mono. I don't know where. Hmm. Flashy eccentric clothes. That's right, in Kabuki they do wear flashy makeup and costumes, don't they? That's right, colorful flashy costumes, makeup and stage decorations are all characteristics of Kabuki. But how did they go from Kabuki Mono to Kabuki? Um, let's see. A dance called Kabuki Odori became rather popular, but later changed from it into the Kabuki Theater we know today. Well, so it started as a type of dance. Another characteristic of Kabuki, the flashy makeup is known as Kumadori. That makeup is called Kumadori? Another characteristic of Kabuki is that all of the parts are played by men. Huh? Women don't appear in Kabuki? There are female roles, but they're all played by men. Men who play women's roles are called Onagata. Oh, and I gotta have heard of them, but I never knew that all the women parts were played by men. Well, isn't it kind of the same in, like... Oh, we're still talking about theater, right? It wasn't that the case in, like, Europe as well? Just like, in the old days, it was like, yeah, just like, males playing all the roles, because, like, no females allowed. Just like, put down female characters. Yeah, we'll just have, like, some guy on a wig or something, I mean... That's what we do in the, these days, you know, fashionable wigs that look like we put a dog on our heads. I don't know. The ones who play women are called Anakata, and the ones who play men are called Tachiyaku. Tachiyaku, huh. Tachiyaku are filled divided into Tachiyaku and... Uh, Man, I can't pronounce. Oyaji Gata and Wakashi Gata, while the Onagata are divided into Kashi Gata, Wakana Gata, and Goya. So there will always be those roles. That's the basic format, it seems. Once you know the roles, it makes working it a lot easier, it says. But am I going to be able to tell who's playing what role? I don't know if I'll be able to understand Kabuki language. I've already forgot what the hell we were talking about. <laughs> Well, I think Kabuki is made to be understood through the makeup and costumes. Alright, uh, so you can tell what's going on just by looking at it. You come to learn the basics of what certain costumes or certain colors represent. Wait. I wonder... A second. Nope. <laughs> I have no idea. Let's think it back to the Kabuki Mono, because I've totally heard that before and I just... It bugs me that I can't think where I heard it from. 
It could have been from a manga that I have read before, but... God damn it, stop messing me on Facebook! How about when... As I was saying, probably from a manga or something involving samurai, because from the description it seems to be a uh, rogue samurai that kind of dressed, uh, kind of flashy, like it said. I just can't remember where I heard it. It might have been a manga, or it, I was like also thinking maybe it was Gintama, or I'm not entirely sure, or maybe it was like, yeah. Uh, I'm pr pretty sure I'm thinking of this one manga I remember reading ages ago called, uh... Is it Deeper Samurai Kyo or something like that? I can't really remember its title, but since it was so samurai orientated, it, they probably used that word at some point in it, so maybe that's where I hear the word from. I have no idea, but it's bugging me. But who cares? For instance, red is youth and justice flu is... And justice, blue is nobility as well as villains trying to take over the country and vengeful spirits. Brown is your kind, uh, uh, skies as humans, stuff like that. Yeah, it was probably definitely the deeper samurai go one that I'm thinking of that I probably heard that from. Because it did have some random, interesting type of characters, I do think it probably did have a character that was probably essentially exactly that. Because I, it probably was. I just can't remember, it was ages ago. Oh, I get it. Memorizing it all might be difficult, but if something you can follow by sight alone, it's a unique, unique and easy to understand. It might be easier if you just remember the cast of characters and the roles they play in today's performance. Then I think we'll study that until we arrive. Akira, will you help me? Of course, I need to study too. We're gonna see a play? Theater? God damn it, keep your misses on Facebook! I get it, man! Feeling a bit better, I know. Wow, so this is Genza, it's famous, isn't it? Let me check my Facebook. Yeah, it's full of pricey shops. It seems to be as pretty unapproachable for young people, but things is not our destination today. You know, actually, let's have a look see how much we spent today. We haven't spent all that much, but wait till we get there then. It will cost us an arm and a leg, possibly. Um, I think the Kabuki's eye is this way. That way. Close to it. I think it's about a five minute walk. If we just go straight from here, we probably won't get lost. Then we'll make it right on time. It looks like we'll get there just as tickets go on sale, so let's take a nice relaxing walk. Sure. Right here, this is the Kabuki Zara. Wow, this is amazing, it's so It's like Kyoto, no, China, it's got kind of a Japanese feel, but an extra flashy. Well, you know, that's Kabuki for you. Oh, Kabuki Mono, you're right, even the building looks like it's been done up in Kabuki makeup. Yeah, it was probably definitely that manga that I'm thinking of, because it, it did have at least one or two flashy kind of characters that just seemed like quite flamboyant. It does now that you mention it, but I'm so used to seeing it, I never really looked at it. And it was like set in that kind of time period as well, I think, so it probably is what I am. But it's just, whatever. Just get on with it. Can I take a picture? Uh, I'll take one too. I'm too close, I can't get it all in view. You're right, we'll have to uh, cross the street, but let's buy our tickets first. Why don't we buy the tickets? Um, wait a minute, let's ask that person over there. People in suits standing around the entrance must be the Kabuki Zara staff. Excuse me, we'd like but Excuse me, we'd like to interrupt your recording briefly, but uh, anyway, excuse me, we'd like to buy tickets. Uh, where should we go? Do you have a reservation? Oh, um, we won single act tickets. Let's try them. Oh, you're right, there's a ticket seller right by the entrance. Looks like this for single act, so that's why we buy single act tickets. Which act would you like to see? And it's got the timetable written right there. And we'd like the second one. Those will be on sale in 10 minutes. Please wait in those seats over there. Alright, you heard them, Michael. Just sit here, right? Okay. And this is your first time doing the single act of books. Yes, this is also our first time at the Kabuki Zara. I'm showing around a friend from another country. 
Then please read this guide while you wait. There's English on the back too. Thank you, Arigato Gazabos. What's that? A pencil board? It's got an explanation about single axes. It also has English instructions on the back, apparently. You know, that's... Like, remember I said, like, I've got the book line software? I remember, like, installing the Japanese version first, and I didn't realize that there was a separate disc that had the English version, because even the Japanese version has a version where you can, like, have it all appear in English, but it's still Japanese. And it, like, has English instruction, manual, and all that. It also has it in Chinese, Korean, as well as the obvious Japanese, but the book line was, you know, not exactly sing in English, it'd be Japanese and all that. So if I was like, okay, so sing, um, well actually I could technically get some English out of it by like, kind of like, messing around with it. Like, with the English version I could just put in something like, sing, and it kind of like split into two bits automatically, and it would sound just right while the Japanese would be. You get the idea, I'm rambling. I forgot what I was even rambling about. Oh, you're right, that's very considerate. Oh yeah, the instructions have been in English. They must get a lot of tourists from foreign countries, huh? Will it just be the two of you? Oh yes, it's just us. We'll call on you in 30 minutes before the performance. Go through that entrance and you'll come to an elevator. Please be in the fo off floor lobby at least 30 minutes in advance. Understood, thank you. Uh, sit from the 4th floor, huh? Uh, yes, so it looks like the 4th floor single act seats have their own entrance. It says single act seats entrance right there. Well, it says you can pick your seat on the 4th floor. Oh, you're right. Yes, the 4th floor is un assigned seating. Once you're inside, please pick the seat you want. Is entry first come- uh, is entry first come first serve? No, you have a number written on your ticket. You'll enter in that order. If you arrive late for the call, you'll be moved to the end of the queue. In other words, don't be late, got it. Arrive 20 minutes before the performance, enter in order of ticket number, and we can choose whatever seat you want. Looks like it. Something else worth noting, the person can only buy one ticket. Which means you have to stand in line to get a ticket, that's why you... why they asked, the, uh, asked if it was just the two of us before. That person was really polite, though. They gave us such detailed information. Really, very classy. But well, that's Japan's traditional theater for you. Even the staff are immaculate and high class. Like the workers at a historic hotel. Yeah, that's true. That's Japan's traditional kabuki theater for you. Even the staff is being such above most tourist spots. It says some people have to stand, too. Really? You think we'll get seats? There aren't many people in line yet, so you should be able to. We sell 150 single lack tickets, and there are about 90 seats. Harry got a good They really are polite. Anytime I have a question, they swoop right in to answer it, like a first class secretary or butler. There aren't that many people in line yet, we'll definitely be within the first night. That's good, I'm starting to get excited. Please visit this place as well. At least look for the book is our tower. You know of the large building behind the Kabuki Tower? Yes, we saw it on our way in. The building is called the Kabuki Tower. The fifth floor houses the Kabuki Tower Gallery. It displays the actual props and costumes used in our Kabuki productions. We invite you to come see them. You can see Kabuki props and costumes up close. That's some fun. The entry fee is 600 yen, but if you have a Kabuki Tower ticket, you receive a 100 yen discount. As long as we're here, why don't we stop by after? Yeah, sounds good. We will now begin selling single act tickets for the next hour. Well, it looks like it's time. Step this way then. Right? Will you be paying to go? Oh, yes, I'll pay then. <laughs> Are you sure? Don't worry, leave it to me. We have two people paying to go. Two tickets? They say that for you, you don't have to say it. Oh, right. That's uh, 3,200 yen. Right, here's that much exactly. Exact change, thank you. Phew, that's so nervous. Oh, sir, your tickets. Oh, I forgot. Jeez, it didn't do well, fine at all. <laughs> uh, so, let's see. 
There's no need to panic here. All your tickets, please arrive on time to the audience call. Use that in the for the entrance here. There's the fourth floor lobby. Ticket vendor doesn't sound natural with the way he speaks. Okay, got it. So I got it on this. Phew, we got it. Eventually. And I'm entry number one! That's because it's still early. Looks like it's empty too. I'm glad we got here when we did. And we have to wait another hour until it starts. That's true, we should have uh, found somewhere to kill time. Want to look around the area? Of course, we do have time after all. Yeah, uh huh. We have a shrine in a place like this. Hey, yeah, Kabuki and Ari. Jin, I think. As long as we're here, I want to pay our respects. Sure, I'll join you. Please let me understand the story at today's Kabuki before. <laughs> That's what you're wishing for? What about you? Make sure Michael doesn't fall asleep during the performance and snore, I guess. Hey, I won't fall asleep, that's me! <laughs> oh, there's an escalator over there, see? Do you think there's a basement? It looks like a subway station and... Go big at your plaza, let's see what that is. Wow, it's really big! That's what she said. Oh, they're selling souvenirs here. Oh, and there's the subway station. It really is directly connected to Higashi Yinza Station. You come out of the station and it's right there. Then you can't get lost. We have Bento here. Bento has single motion box lunch made at home. All borders are taken. Oh, Bento. Can you read all Bento inside? Let's connect them inside the Kabukiza. That's unusual in theaters, isn't it? Yeah, aside from popcorn in the movie theater, I guess. Let's see which one's most expensive! Because they always like that with popcorn, isn't it? Like, popcorn costs more than the bloody movie! By the way, have you heard of a Makuno Uchi better? That means to eat them between Uchi and Uchi, the act Maku of a Gabuki performance. Oh, that's right. Should we buy your vendor? But we're only seeing one act, so we probably wouldn't have time to eat them. That's true, we are only watching one act. Too bad, perhaps another time. Once you get rich, Michael, you can buy us those expensive boxy tickets. <laughs> I hope I'll be able to someday. There really are a lot of stores, though, I'm shocked. Yeah, there are even uh, a convenient chain of coffee shops here. That t shirt is really cool. Hey, there's one with Kabuki Miko, Midori, right? They have a lot of designs for foreign tourists like me, too. There are a lot of interesting ones. We could kill a lot of time looking around here. That looks like an eating. Oh, that, that's a restaurant. We got soft serve ice cream. Oh wow, you can get it with Kabuki Age on top. Lots of candy and stuff too. Maybe I should buy something for Oni Chan. Uh, side, Oni Chan, take a sample. If you'd like, you can only buy these here. A sample? We can eat these? Go ahead, go for it. Don't come out! Oh, you're so shameless. You have some too, Oni Chan. Oh, uh, hi, Itadakimas. Hey, Akira, you ate it too. Of course I did, um, um... Oh, it's good. Yeah, it's really good. Are you going to buy this for me, Kodo? Yeah, I'll make this a souvenir. I already got Uncle Timus. I want so many souvenirs. Uh, I was so assimilated from all those samples. <laughs> well, why, didn't we, uh, why don't we eat then? How about a Japanese restaurant as long as we're here? Sure, that sounds good. What did, wait, was the stomach just like, ah, oh, too much free sample, and it's like, oh, let's eat some more, okay. Or I don't even know. Ooh, I'm so full. Just don't fall asleep during the performance, okay? I won't, I told you. Well, if I really can't follow what's going on, it wouldn't be impossible. Looks like it's just about time to go. Okay, let's head up to the fourth floor. The entrance to the side of the front game time, right? That's right, it's that single act seat entrance over it. Mm. Oh, here it is. Irashimus. Irashimus. Please show your tickets on the fourth floor. Irashimus, a ritual greeting used by shop. Now, employers and uh, customer enter the store. Uh, yes, we will. 
There's the elevator, so we just ride this to the fourth floor, right? Yeah, it looks like it goes right to it. So this is the lobby for single acting, huh? It's smaller than I thought. Small and narrow, it's like the converted part of the hallway into a lobby. It looks like there aren't many customers here now. Maybe we came at a good time. Yeah, I wonder if uh, I'll be able to follow the story. I'm gonna get nervous. We have the opponent and subtitle guides here. Subtitles? Hmm, your phone and subtitle guides? Looks like you can listen to an explanation of the performance, and the subtitle guides will provide captions. You think. Wait, 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 was it? Oh, yeah, that was accurate then. Do you think they have English? Why don't we ask? Excuse me, do you have guides in English? The earphone guides are Japanese only, but the subtitle guides have an English channel. Oh, I see. What do the subtitle guides look like? They're right here. It's like a little LED TV. You can just read the English subtitles on these. Well, do you want to rent one? Are they expensive? The rental fee is 500 yen. It will ask for a thousand yen to put as it as well, but it will be refunded after you return to the box. Which means it's actually just 500. Wow, that's surprisingly reasonable. It costs about a thousand views then in the reserved seats, but single out seats have a special discount. Wow, really? Then you want to rent one? I'm not very confident, so I might rent the earphones. Yeah, let's do it. One earphone guide and one subtitle guide, understand. I feel a lot more confident by using these. Well, I feel a little better now that I know I'll be able to understand the story. I'm looking forward to it more and more. We will now begin seating. Please come when we call your ticket number. Oh, we can go in already. Yes, it must be time. There are two rows of seats when you go in. Please feel free to take any open seat. Oh, so this is it. It's really high up. We're on the fourth floor. There are only two rows of seats, though. Oh, you're right. There are uh, seats just in front of us, but it looks like the fourth floor doesn't go any further. I see, so this is a single act seating. But we can see the stage a lot better than I expected. We really can. It doesn't look that far away. We probably won't be able to make out the actor's expressions, though. But you couldn't see the expressions with the kabuki makeup on anyway, right? <laughs> That's true. Ah, uh, speaking of which, let me check out the earphone guy. Is it making any sound? It's playing music. Is it the music that's playing? Will they just uh, start talking when the time comes? Oh, I hear a woman's voice. She's introducing herself and explaining today's performance. What about you? I'm getting instructions for how to use the device. Do you think it will start up by itself when the show begins? Let me see. Looks like there are three channels. The explanation channel, the script channel, and the English channel. Could you set it to the English channel? Sure, okay, that should do it. Okay, looks like I'm all set. Now we just wait for it to start, huh? Well, make sure you shut off your cell phone. Well, that's a good point. Okay, I wonder if it'll start soon. Man, I could totally imagine that. How awkward that be in a place like that. Your phone just goes off. God knows what you'd have set. Like, someone phones you, and say you haven't got on sound, and the ringtone just comes up, and you're just like, oh. God, phone, 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 phone. She's like, out! Get out! You're disturbing the theater play thing. Okay, I wonder if we'll start soon. That was really fun. <laughs> Just like, oh yeah, we off-screened it for you. Did you enjoy the play? We didn't get to see it. Like, off-screen! Really, I'm happy to hear it. The performance was much more interesting than I thought it would be. There were some pretty funny parts, too. Too bad! We didn't get to see him! Yeah, I thought it would be harder to understand than that, but there were a lot of funny things. Well, I could only tell thanks to the subtitle guide, but the language really is hard. And I wouldn't be able to understand a thing just by listening to it. I don't blame you, I probably couldn't understand it very well if I was just listening to it either. Glad you got the earphone guide. Yeah, I really am. But the language is hard even for Japanese people, huh? I suppose that's the way they that's the way they there's the way they speak, but you can also yeah, but, but you also get some difficult words and turn the phrase. But the corner was beautiful. The music was great too. Was that live? 
Yeah, it was. The musicians are hidden behind a bamboo blind, so you can't see, but they were playing on site. Horses that came out look real, too. How do they move those things? It looks like you're again more and more interested in Kabuki, huh? Then why don't we go to that Kabuki gallery they told us about before? Sure, let's go! How do we get there? Uh, where's that leaflet they gave us? It looks like we take an elevator from B2. Then we go down once again. It looks like the elevator's down there. We have guide signs, so I guess we can just follow those. Wow, the fifth floor is like a quiet office building. Seriously, is that where they sell the tickets? Ah, a garden? You're right, that is a garden. Is that a Japanese garden? Looks like, and I saw something about a rooftop garden, but I guess this is it. Let's go out there later. So, let's do that. But first, the Kabuki's uh, gallery we came here to see. Is this where we buy tickets? That's yeah, right here, two tickets. Yes, please. Oh, we have Kabuki's uh, tickets. We need to get our 100 yen discount. <laughs> You're really on top of things, huh? Hey, look at this picture. I'm riding a horse. I've already seen a bunch of times, but I didn't think you'd get to mount one of the horses from the play and have your picture taken, right? It was fun getting to play the instruments, too. I've never touched a echo drum or a bell like that before. But all of high. I thought it was neat to get up on a real stage. It was a smaller version, of course, but I got to see backstage and the Wolfie Hanabichi, too. There was also a photo booth where you could take pictures of yourself in Kabuki clothes. If I had more time and money, I'd love a souvenir like that. Oh, speaking of pictures, weren't we going to cross the street and take a picture of the entire Kabuki? Oh, that's right, I forgot about it in all the excitement. So we'll take that and then finish the day. Yeah, just the Kabuki was more than enough for the day. Now I want to learn more and more about Kabuki. Then take us again sometime, I will buy us some first floor box seat tickets. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to work hard and get you and Mikado box seats in the boogie trial. Maybe. Making no promises. Hey, Aki-chan, what's for dinner tonight? Hmm. Tonight I was thinking of making curry rice. Yeah, yeah, I love your curry rice, Aki-chan. Curry is not Indian food. Well, Scurry originated from India, but it came to England from there. And it came to Japan, and Japanese people reformed it to suit their palates. Reformed it? Ah, uh, yes, I've changed a little from just a few days in Japan. The same could have happened with food coming to another country, too. There's curry, pizza, and pasta, too. French, Chinese, Asian food, East and West, Japanese people eat food from all over the world. And they incorporate them all aggressively into their own food culture. I picture Japanese to be all about sushi, tempura, and sugiyaki. But Japanese people really eat a wide variety of food in their daily life. By the way, curry is up there with rum as Japan's national dish now. National dish? That's right, curry rice, curry bread, and even soup curry. There are many variations. I don't think there's a person in Japan who doesn't like curry. Wow. Curry is really that popular. But among those, curry rice is the king of kings. Everyone loves it, from children to adults. Just hearing about it makes me hungry. Doesn't it? Yeah. Ah, uh, that's it. Hey, Aki-chan, let me help out, okay? What? You want to help? Sure. You don't have to. I can make it myself. You talk to him while I'm making it. But you make dinner every day. I feel bad, please. You don't have to worry about it. You don't need to worry about it either. But, damn boy. Well, uh, what's wrong? It's not like you to be so secretive. It's just, well... Uh, what's wrong? Makoto was asking to help, so let her. I know she said that Akira was the better cook, but Makoto can't be that bad. Hmm... Akira? Fine, if you insist, I guess Oni-chan can help me with the cooking. Really? Yeah. Hooray! Good luck, Makoto. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Leave it to me. That's right. Maybe I can do something too. 
No, you don't have to worry about it. Instead, instead, you're the one who insisted that only Chan help out, so you're the one who takes responsibility for the final product. Huh? Responsibility? What's she on about? Anyway, hey, wait a minute, Aki! Maybe I'll let on and try and make the salad. I got it! Responsibility? What's that supposed to mean? She can't... she can't possibly... La la la, salad, salad. First you make the dressing where you want lots of seasoning to make it nice and tasty. First I'll add salt. Ha! Huh? Wait! That's almost a whole bag! That's way too much! Now I'll add... what exactly is this? Oh well, I'll throw it right in. I, I see. <laughs> this is why I call it so nasty. The one who said responsibility, she meant. Jesus Christ! Here we go! Iridakimas! Iridakimas. Here you are, I worked hard on this salad, so do help yourself. And you'll want to put up on my. want to put on my special dressing. Arigato. Um, what exactly is in this salad? I see long tortured strands of something protruding from the bowl. And this dressing is an unnatural big blue green. Please help yourself. Mm. But it won't get eaten if I just stare at it all day. Eat a Here we go. Huh? How is it? Ma? Eh, 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 I guess I now know no, no, to always look at the cooking jacket. I made sure to do that from now on. Anyway, at least it's over now. Hey, Onichan, do you remember what we talked about before dinner? Oh, yes, I do. What, 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 what? What did you talk about before dinner? The fact that you only have three days left in Japan. We still have time to make the trip, wouldn't we? Wait, isn't this his third day, so... I think it is, as it say. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a third day currently, so six days in Japan. Uh, we still have time to make a trip, wouldn't we? Well, that's true, I'll be going home in four days. Or has he got a... no. Wait, so he spends a week in Japan then, I think. Right, I was thinking maybe you'd like to go somewhere a little further tomorrow. Somewhere further? It's obvious there are still a lot of places you haven't seen in Tokyo, but as long as you're here in Japan, we thought we might like to see some place outside of Tokyo. So it's like you get like three locations in Japan, and then you're off to an entirely different place. So I remember this point in the previous LP and original, where it's like, but Shibuya, but it's like first thing. First location of shows in this one there. It was Mount the Cow and then there was the Kabuki thing. And that's like that's all of Tokyo we gotta get. Uh, yeah, yeah, place outside of Tokyo, like where? <laughs> place every family in Japan just has to visit. Yeah, there's only one place. Ah, I'm talking about a bird chopping into a mirror? Yes, Kyoto! Kyoto! Kyoto, I would like to go there, but... But, Jimbo... What? Do you have a problem with that? I don't have a problem, but... I don't know a lot about Kyoto, and even if I... If, if you want to go tomorrow, I don't even know how we get there. Oh, is that all? If that's the case, then don't worry about it. Yeah, we'll go with you. Huh? You, you mean both of you? Of course, I know you haven't gone out with both of us, but we want to go on this trip too. Birdie! Yes, I've been to Kona many times before, but this is a special opportunity if you're going. I see. 
I wouldn't dare go alone, but having them there would be reassuring. Okay, in that case, let's take a trip. Hooray, then it's settled. Yeah! I know it's a sudden, but maybe we should make it an open night stay in Shogun. So take care of the reservation, so you just get ready for the trip. Got it. Show the way. <laughs> this should be fun. <laughs> yeah, it's Sunday. And all that. The stars, it's a real sun trip, but I did come all the way to Japan. You can see a lot of different places is one of the joys of traveling. Kyoto, I wonder what's waiting for me there. This should be fun, as long as the bird doesn't chirp high-pitchedly into my ear. Ow, it's too late, I'm awake. I thought I'd be tired after walking around all day. We're going out again tomorrow, so I need to get uh, to, to get to sleep soon, but... I can't sleep! Oh well. I know that feeling all too well. In fact, I know it so well, it happened to me last night. I'll go to the living room, get a drink and relax. I bet I'll be able to sleep after that. But I think I'll end it here, actually, recording-wise. Also, mention of the whole, uh, thing I was mentioned about, like, corp thing and, like, what I mentioned. That was what kept me awake for the most part. It's just, like, going over in my mind. It's like, oh, why is that such a disturbing... Oh, seriously, how could the... Oh, God. So, <laughs> yeah, again, with that, it's just, like, Higurashi has the same kind of feel, so definitely going to be kind of what showed you instead. Well, I'll see you next time, viewers, for when he'll probably run into one of the sisters, I imagine, if I'm recalling it correctly, or maybe I don't even know. We'll find out next time. We'll see you next time, viewers. See you next time.